Hi friends, since we're coming up on Christmas, I thought you might enjoy visiting some famous people who died on Christmas Day. And one of them is buried right here in the cemetery. So I want to do a quick shout out to Olivia Quijano. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Olivia has been asking me for about a year now to visit the final resting place of Leon Schlesinger. He's laid to rest here in the, the Jewish mausoleum here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. If you're wondering why I'm speaking so softly, it's because there are an awful lot of people here today visiting their loved ones and I'm trying not to disturb them. I usually try to visit cemeteries on days when there aren't as many people around, but I think because it's the holidays, I'm running into more people than usual. This is the Beth Alom Jewish Mausoleum, and I've been here for well over an hour searching every corridor in this very large mausoleum. I've been using the Find a Grave app and the GPS on Leon Schlesinger's memorial page, but it turns out the GPS took me on a wild goose chase to the opposite end of the mausoleum. Just when I was about ready to give up, I looked one more time just inside the front door to the left in the very first corridor and found his crypt on the right-hand side. So I've added a new GPS for anyone else who might want to visit his final resting place. Leon Schlesinger died at the age of 65 in Los Angeles, California from a viral infection on December 25, 1949. And over the years, his plaque has darkened with age and become very difficult to read. Schlesinger was a pioneer in the animated cartoon industry and produced the early Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies cartoons. He was second only to the Disney Studios in the popularity of his cartoon characters. And in 1944, five years before his death, he sold his company to the Warner Brothers Cartoon Studio. It's even said the legendary voice actor Mel Blanc based the voices of Daffy Duck and Sylvester on Schlesinger's very pronounced lisp. And Mel Blanc is also buried here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery outside of the mausoleum just a short distance away. I visited his gravesite last year and I'll put the link down below this video in case you're interested. Actor, singer, and comedian Dean Martin also died on Christmas Day. The year was 1995 and he was 78 years old. He died in Beverly Hills from acute respiratory failure resulting from emphysema. He's interred in the Sanctuary of Love Mausoleum Courtyard at the Westwood Village Memorial Park in Westwood, California. Martin was one of the most popular entertainers of the 20th century and he was known as the King of Cool. He appeared in more than 50 movies and countless TV shows, including his own. His Dean Martin variety TV show ran from 1959 to 1960. The Dean Martin show ran from 1965 to 1974. And the Dean Martin Celebrity Roast ran from 1974 to 1984. He also had dozens of hit songs during his career. And his epitaph, Everybody Loves Somebody Sometime, is the title of one of his biggest hits. In addition to Dean Martin, there's another notable person who is buried here in the same cemetery who also died on Christmas Day, and another well-known person who died on Christmas Eve. Prince Oliver Van Anhalt was the adopted son of actress Zsa, Zsa Gabor and her ninth husband and widower, Frederick Prince Van Anhalt. As an adult, Oliver reportedly paid Frederick to adopt him in order to receive his royal title. According to the Daily Mail, 45-year-old Oliver was in a critical motorcycle accident on December 18, 2016, which was the same day Zsa, Zsa Gabor died. Oliver died seven days later on December 25, 2016. Zsa, Zsa Gabor was cremated and her ashes were reportedly interred with her sister Ava Gabor. But as of 2018, there's nothing indicating this on Ava Gabor's gravestone. Zsa Zsa's daughter, Francesca Hilton, who died in 2015, is also interred here. 
Emmy Award winning actor Jack Klugman didn't make it to Christmas Day. He died Christmas Eve 2012 at the age of 90 in Woodland Hills, California from prostate cancer. He was cremated and his ashes are interred here at Westwood Memorial Park, just a short distance from Dean Martin. Since dying on Christmas Eve is equally as sad as dying on Christmas Day, I thought you would want to see his final resting place, so I decided to include him. Klugman appeared in a number of movies over the years and in more than 50 TV shows, but he's probably best remembered for his role as Oscar Madison on the popular TV sitcom The Odd Couple, which aired from 1970 to 1975, and for his role as Dr. Quincy on the TV show Quincy M.E. that aired from 1976 to 1983. A number of other famous people have also died on Christmas Day. Unfortunately, they were either cremated and their ashes were scattered, so they have no final resting place to visit, or they're buried out of the country, and I haven't been able to visit them. Or in the case of actor and comedian W.C. Fields, he died on Christmas Day 1946 at the age of 66 in Pasadena, California from a stomach ulcer. He was cremated and his ashes are interred at Forest Lawn Glendale, but his final resting place in the Great Mausoleum is no longer open to the public. Singer, songwriter, and international superstar George Michael sold more than 115 million records worldwide and was one of the best-selling music artists of all time. He died on Christmas Day, 2016, at the young age of 53, from natural causes in Oxford, England. He's buried at Highgate Cemetery in London, and ironically, one of his most popular songs was one of his first songs while he was still with Wham! called Last Christmas. Academy Award-winning silent film star Charlie Chaplin died in Switzerland on Christmas Day in 1977 from a stroke at the age of 88, and he's also buried in Switzerland. Actress and singer and sex symbol Eartha Kitt died in 2008 on Christmas Day at the age of 81 from colon cancer. She was cremated and her ashes were scattered, so she's another one of the many famous people who have no final resting place for fans to visit. The legendary baseball player and New York Yankees manager Billy Martin died on Christmas Day, 1989, at the age of 61, following a vehicle accident. He's buried at the Gate of Heaven Cemetery in Hawthorne, New York. As you know, over the years I've visited quite a few cemeteries, and I've discovered that you don't have to be famous to have died on Christmas Day. When I first spotted this headstone at the Home of Peace Cemetery in East Los Angeles, I assumed that this was probably a famous captain, but I haven't been able to locate any information about him online. If any of you watching happen to know who he was, please let me know down in the comment section below. The other thing I've noticed over the years is that cemeteries are full of irony, and Captain Simon's grave is a good example. The Home of Peace Cemetery is a Jewish cemetery, and like Leon Schlesinger at the beginning of this video, I'm sure the irony of these two Jewish men dying on Christmas Day was not lost on their families. I'm not sure it really means anything, but it did make me smile, and I hope that it would have made Captain Simon Frank smile as well. So I don't know about you, but for me, I think Christmas is probably the saddest day of the year to die. What do you think? Is there another day that's sadder than Christmas? 